Hi there, and welcome to a second video of the Wajib project. On this video, we get to see the electrical works we undertook during this project. Before we get into this video, perhaps you should do some housekeeping. First, we encourage new viewers to subscribe. We share content around the construction projects, Gaikom's interiors and attacks. We are sure to deliver value to anyone interested or curious about the construction process. Secondly, a little bit about Gaikom's interiors. Gaikom's Interiors is an interior design company based in Thika with a gypsum ceiling installation, electrical works, kitchen cabinet reconstruction, and lastly, painting and wall effect application. Our contact information is in the description box below. Reach out to us in case you have questions or you have a project you want us to carry out. Getting back to the video, for this project, we were doing the electrical wiring for the commercial building. We were installing the meter board, the distribution board, the conduits for the wiring, the wiring itself, and lastly, installing the switches, sockets, and lighting fixtures. We tried to keep the video as detailed as possible to give you a good idea of the craftsmanship required to professionally wire a building. The process of installing the meter and distribution boards is similar. We start off by chiseling into the wall where the boards will sit. After making a template on the wall, the chiseling is done. We always make sure to correctly orient the boxes using a spirit level to guarantee an aesthetically perfect installation. Conduits are installed to protect wires from the elements and to ensure that they will remain in perfect working condition in the lifetime of the building. Conduits are installed to wires running to switches, sockets, lighting fixtures and any other electrical points in the building that will require power delivery. Conduits are typically installed during the masonry work. Thus, some conduits are in the walls. But in some situations, conduits can be installed during the wiring process, which is what we did on this project. Once the work of preparing the conduits is complete, 
the electrician needs to prepare the wires for wiring and that is what you are looking at right now. Keeping the wires in their rolls makes them easier to work with once the wiring has begun. After preparation, the wires are pulled through the conduits using a pull wire. To do this, the suitable wires are attached to one end of the pull wire and they are pulled through the conduits to where they will be connected to the fixture.
after wiring is complete, the ne next task is connecting them to the distribution board. The electrician installs the circuit breakers and ensures to keep the connection as neat as possible. This makes it easier to fit the maintenance to the easily and in minimal time. The last task to be completed is installing the lighting fixtures. For this project, we went with surface mounted LED lights. We think they look good, they shine bright and are energy efficient. To sum up the video, we were able to install the meter board, the distribution board, do the conduit installation, wiring, and lastly, installing switches, sockets, and lighting fixtures. Thank you for watching to the end, and we hope to come, you come back to watch our next video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, do so. It helps our content be pushed to more viewers like yourself. Thank you, and goodbye for now.